Hey everybody, this is Michael Gabriel and you're watching CMS TV. All right, moving on to another classic rock band that is out there celebrating their 50th anniversary. Okay. That would be the the uh the Warren Torn Journey. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. The embattled journey. Mhm. Mm uh Neil Sean and Jonathan Kane reunite on stage at Journey's first concert of 2023. They sure did. Legendary Rockers Journey played their first concert of 2023 last night in Durant, Oklahoma. Yeah. The two hour performance at the 3000 capacity grant 3000. 3000. That's what I'm saying. He's playing it for 3000 people. Uh, give up that live nation venues. You got to play where the, where you can play. Yeah. 3000. Wow. That's pretty sad. I mean, Journey was a stadium act. Yeah. I mean, if you ever see uh, Journey live in Houston, that's like a stadium. Well, dude, recently they were, I mean, not that long ago, they were playing, you know, the sheds. outdoor sheds. Yeah. They were headlining those sheds. Right. Uh, the two hour performance at the 3000 capacity grand theater at the Choctaw Casino and Resorts. So now they're, they're playing now their casino you know, act, their <laughs> casino band. Yeah. Why? Because Live Nation doesn't own them. Live Nation doesn't own the casinos, do they? No. So, ooh, that is a quite a fall. Yep. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, this marked the first uh, appearance since Journey's guitarist Neil Sean and keyboardist Jonathan Cain publicly feuded over several issues, including Neil allegedly causing over one million in personal expenses to be charged to the band's shared American Express card and Sean demanding that Kane stop playing events for former U.S. President Donald Trump. Mm. Journey will play a second show in Durant tonight on Saturday uh, before officially kicking off the main portion of its 50th anniversary tour on February 4th in Allentown, Pennsylvania with Toto once again on the bill. No, I mean, it's a good show, especially if you see it in a small room like that. Yeah, no shit. Anyway, here is a uh, journey set list, uh, that, that they played last night. Okay. Uh, they kick things off with only the young mm -hmm. stone in love. Don't stop believing lights. Send her my love feeling that way. Anytime escape dead or alive. Well, they're playing dead or alive. All right. I'm, I'm going to stop you right there. Yeah. And I couldn't find any video of it. Who is singing the Greg Raleigh parts on um, feeling, feeling that, that way, way at any time? Well, most of the most of that um, the vocal is the Raleigh. That yeah. that was before Perry had really totally taken over the band. True. So I wonder who. I wonder if they have like Dean doing it or. Mm. I don't know. I'd like to see video of that, and I couldn't find any. All right. Uh, Dead or alive? Who's crying now? Mother, father like that me too let it rain that must be new yeah i don't know that one love and touch and squeeze it and open arms faithfully girl can't help it how about that mm. wheel in, wheel in the sky separate ways worlds apart be good to be good to yourself wow they're throwing in the movie soundtrack yeah uh, <laughs> songs. and then any way you want it it's not a bad set list from them no i, I like the fact that they threw in uh escape that are alive and mother father yeah i like all those songs i like that and anytime and and feeling that way sure that's very old school for journey what's that yeah. infinity era yeah. i think majority of the set list is escape and and frontiers oh well, yeah that's and every then, journey set and, list. <laughs> and then uh then of course the soundtrack uh, songs mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah that is weird that they played two different soundtrack songs yeah vision quest yeah, and um, what was the other one? Um, uh, Ask the Lonely. Uh, it was only, a, the, it's only the young. Only, only that. That's that's the Vision Quest song, right? Yeah, 
Uh huh. And then and what was the uh, other one they played? Be good to yourself. Be good to yourself. That was what soundtrack was that? What soundtrack had to be good to yourself by Journey? Too bad they can't practice what they're preaching there. Be good to themselves. <laughs> no. Um, Neil was good to himself. Helping. Yeah. Him. <laughs> he wasn't good to anybody else. Yeah. But helping <laughs> himself to all the cash. It was from the, uh, wow. I don't even remember this movie. It was from the, out uh, the movie white water summer. Okay. Starring Kevin Bacon and Sean Astin in 1987. I do not remember that movie at all. Do you? No, but I remember it was part of the soundtrack, though. Yeah, I remember it being on a soundtrack, but I don't, I do not remember that movie at all. Right. All right. Then Girl Can't Help It, that was from uh, the radio. Raised on radio. Raised, yeah. raised on radio, yeah. Right. Uh, earlier this month, Kane filed a lawsuit against Sean over the guitarist's personal expenses, which were allegedly charged to the American Express card, including 400000 in one single month. Is that true? Only, Only the, the Young was first I, I, recorded by Scandal? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, look that up. I'd like to hear. I don't think I've ever heard that either. I can't say that I've heard it either. I, I'm anxious to hear that too there, I Killer was Miller. Not, I was not aware. Look at that. Our fans yeah. contributing with little little inside information. Yeah, this YouTube chat's picking up some steam. Yeah. Apparently some people could figure out the beta test stream from the live. It was on the Warrior album. All right, there it is. Only the young. Sure shit. Let's hear it. Actually. No, let's take a listen. Yes. All right. Yeah, let's hear that. that one i don't hate that yeah. i i looked it up and um there's a whole history behind that song is that right um only the young is a song written by jonathan kane steve perry and neil sean of the band journey it was sold to the band scandal who released it in 1984 on their warrior album uh -huh. journey also recorded and released the song and scandal was given a huge settlement in a legal aftermath wow <laughs> Uh, previously intended for frontiers, uh, it was pulled from the album within days of recording in favor of the songs back talk and troubled child boy, talk about a mistake there. <laughs> it's like the two worst songs on that record. Yeah. You know, I'll add Rubicon in there and you got it. Yeah, sure. But the first individual outside of the band to hear the song was 16 year old Kenny something of Rocky river, Ohio who was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. His mother wrote a letter to the band telling them about her son's terminal condition and how big a fan he was of journey. The band flew to his hospital bedside in Cleveland at the request of the make a wish foundation, along with a Walkman containing the new track. The band also brought Kenny a football helmet signed by the San Francisco 49ers 
and an autograph Pl journey platinum record award. Wow. The experience of playing the song for Kenny left Steve Perry and Jonathan Kane deeply affected. Perry said, as soon as I walked out of the hospital room, I lost it. Nurses had to take me to a room by myself. Wow. On the band's episode of VH1's Behind the Music, Kane broke down in tears recalling the event, remarking that children should not have to live with that kind of pain. Kenny died the next day. Wow. With the, with oh, the Walkman shit. still in his hand. Oh. The song brought life into perspective for the band and left them humbled. Neil Sean said that Kenny's death affected Journey by making them reevaluate the issues that were causing friction inside the band itself. <laughs> Maybe they need to find another sick kid. Yeah, they need to find another kid who's on his deathbed. Yeah, no kidding. In honor of Kenny, the band used the song as their opener for the Raised on Radio tour. Wow. Who knew? How about that? I didn't know anything about any of this, but I wasn't aware it was right. And it's right backyard. here. It was yeah. right in your backyard, too. Man, I didn't know about it, but wow, how crazy is that they let him hear this song and the next day he died with the fucking headphones still on his head and a walkman in his hand. Yeah probably playing that song yeah who got the platinum record <laughs> yeah really where is that can i get yeah, that? that can i get that football helmet yeah that was a pretty yeah. good 49er team can i get that yeah mm. you're not going to be using it can i have it yeah, all right dave now that's not nice <laughs> journey killed kenny right those <laughs> bastards <laughs> journey killed kenny you bastards <laughs> It's not very nice. Oh, that's a funny one. Yeah. Nice. I don't think it, I don't think it's too soon. Yeah. It's 1984. Right. <laughs> Whatever year. That's it's 83. A, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> I guess. All right. So, so anyway, back to journey today, who definitely needs a sick kid to get through their bullshit. Sure. Would you like to see some of this warm and, and, and enticing, um, concert that they played yeah let's let's see how they uh how they interacted on the stage oh let me just tell you dude it's warmer outside right now if you went outside <laughs> in your bare feet <laughs> this is i watched this today and i'm gonna thank jackal for turning me on to this video today All jim right. jim jackal's the one that sent this to me yeah i have not seen this so oh pay closer you won't have to pay that close of attention it ain't hard to see these guys do not look at each other once. Mm -hmm. This is an eight minute video wow. that spans the entire course of the concert. It's like clips from the concert. Okay. So it's like a montage. They don't look at each other once. You can just look at the band's performance itself. And it has just an aura of ick on top of it. It is really, really painful. Sounds okay, but it's just like, wow. Yeah, just, there's a lot of friction going on yeah, here just the just the bitterness and the mm -hmm. uh, the uh, poison going on up there oh, so much all right here we go I don't know if you noticed this, but they have this keyboard guy that's on the stage. No Jonathan Kane anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Doesn't this feel warm and inviting to you? It does. It sounds, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think Arnell sounds pretty good though. Arnell sounds great, but not that this is a change for them, but they have them so far away from each other. You need binoculars to see each other. Yeah. Oh, this is not good. All right, here we go. not looking at all to the side.
right, I'm going to say this again. Why do they need Arnell and Dean? I don't know. Dean sounds just as good as, as Steve. (laughs) Is it me or is Neil Sean looking more like Bruce Springsteen these days? He is with the, you know, the torn up jeans and the coat. Yeah. The moppy hair. Yeah. I'm a regular guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. (laughs) I live in New Jersey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was hard living there with my dad beat my ass. So I got a job in Youngstown. (laughs) Ugh, Springsteen. Yeah. All right, here's some more of this journey. All right. Who's that old fossil playing bass? I don't know. I was, you know, I was asking the same question. That guy looks old. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, Ross Valerie couldn't fill that position very well. No, well, he, he got booted out of the band. Oh, I know. I'm well aware I'm making yeah, a he's, joke. He's, he's, he needs to be out of the band. He <laughs> dared to, he dared to step in and settle these problems. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Woof. Feeling the, this, this is the most stare. I mean, even the, you can see it from the crowd. There's no reaction. Yeah, well, it, it's not a, there's no energy there. It's just, uh, it, it's a sterile performance. Yeah. This is really, it, it, really, there, there's no, uh, uh, life or th- there's no feeling there at all. No. It's just, uh, it's just running through the montage of songs. Yep. Yeah, there's no, they're not feeling that way at all. Nope. All right, here we go. So we're playing another song. <laughs> Arnell, Arnell looks like that Vietnamese guy who got his head blown off in that old picture from the Vietnam War. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Good you know, Lord. The famous picture where that, where that soldier just takes yeah, a yeah. pistol and blows, blows his, his head, head off because he, he was a Viet Cong guy. Yeah. <laughs> My that's, what he, that's what he looks like. Oof. Yeah, he needs to grow his hair back. He looks like yeah. an idiot with short hair. <laughs> looks like an accountant or something. He does. He's Fucking just... IT guy. <laughs> All right, let's play a little more of this warm, warm and enticing journey. <laughs> They got the crowd at least a little in this. Is this about those two? They sailed on together but drifted apart? I gotta, I gotta admit, Arnell sounds really good. He sounds better than he has in the yeah, last couple know, of tours. Saying, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is he, uh, he was struggling there for for a little while, and now he sounds, yeah. you know, that time off gave him time to get his voice back in order. Well, they brought Dean back in, fucking put a boot in his ass. Hey, if you don't get it, we'll just have this guy sing. Yeah, straighten up, dickhead. Sure, I'm sure that's what it is. But to look at the distance between these two. Yep. In this phone. Fu- <laughs> 
And not once in this montage have you seen like Neil run across the stage or any, and and that's what they've always done. Yeah, they've always, uh, you know, and I'm noticing art. Maybe it's just I'm being picky, and again, it is a montage. But didn't Arnell used to run around and jump and be all crazy and stuff? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And he's just kind of standing. It's like they're all like almost afraid to do anything. Yeah. Well, it is the first show, so uh, true. I'm sure they'll loosen up as time goes by. Yeah, unless unless there's more litigation that'll make them even more hateful of each other. Right. All right, here's a little more. All right, I'm being told in the other chat room that the the bass player is Todd Jensen, who played with uh, David Lee Roth. Okay. So, all right. When did he play with him at birth? Does that mean like he raised him or something? Because <laughs> he looks old enough to be to be that. Well, he was raised on radio. Yeah, that's true. Probably was. All right, you want more of this? Or are we good? Well, just goes on and on. Yeah, I mean, I think we get the gist. Yeah, I mean, they sound really good. I will say that they do sound really good, but boy, that is a cold show. Oof. Well, good luck to those boys. Yeah. Well, they're still making, making money to pay the Amex apparently. Yeah. What, what do you think they get for a, a casino for 3000 people? Quarter 50 K two quarter mil. No, 3000 people. I don't think you know it's a casino they're not making maybe a hundred grand i can't see 250 that's a lot man two and a quarter i'm thinking a hundy okay if vince neal makes 50 they're twice vince neal in most areas yeah so i say a hundy all right mm. which is probably why jonathan kane's freaking the fuck out that he's spending all the money if I had to guess, he's making all the he's he's spending all the money and they're not pulling in half of their normal ticket. Mm, mm, mm. Well, we'll we'll keep an eye out on the journey saga. Okay. Sounds good. All right. All right. Well, let's take a break. I'll let you pick a tune. All right. Um Overkill has a brand new song that is out there called The Surgeon. It's from their upcoming release called Scorched, and boy, this is a scorcher. It's it's like a surgeon. It's like a surgeon. Hey, like cut surgeon. for the thirty first time. Exactly. Overkill. Play some overkill, you cunts. You cunt. <laughs> All right, I got uh, the surgeon pulled All up. Right. Cool, cool. So we'll play a few tunes, and we'll come back. So uh, here it is. It's brand new. Overkill with. The <laughs> exclusively here on your classic metal show hey hey hey! what do you say thanks for checking out this episode of the classic metal show get all of our episodes uncensored at www.theclassicmetalshow.com join us weekly from 9 p.m till 3 a.m eastern at www.cmsradio.net Participate in the live chat room at www.chatandkill.com. Once again, thank you for checking out the Classic Metal Show with Neely and Chris. Hail and kill. Fuck you, pal. Hey. 